Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to the series where we are solving the blind 75 list. And uh, today we'll be solving this problem maximum subarray. This is also a quite popular problem, and this problem is also referred to as Kadin's algorithm. So in this problem, we are given an integer array nums, and we have to find the subarray with the largest sum and return the sum from there. So what is a subarray? So basically, if this is an array of integers, then any continuous part of this array containing one or more elements is a subarray. So this is a subarray containing only one. This is a subarray containing one and minus three. This is a subarray containing three elements. This is also a subarray. This, this, and so on. So these are my subarrays. Fine. These are my subarrays. So. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to find the subarray which has the largest sum, right? So how we can do that? So one of the simple approach to do so is to consider all subarrays. Consider all subarrays. <laughs> to do so, keep a pointer at this point. Let's say pointer i. Start another pointer j. From the pointer i. So i and j represents a subarray. Move j from i till last pointer, till last position. And all of those arrays where j traverses, i and j, will be my subarrays. So for i will have n subarrays, then i will move here, then we'll have n minus 1 subarrays, then we'll have n minus 2 subarrays, and so on. So it would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 and, and up until n. And that gives me n into n plus 1 by 2. These are the number of subarrays which I will have if I'm going to use this. Like, uh, So if I calculate those arrays using this approach, considering all subarrays, that is going to take big of n square time complexity. Because I'm using two pointers. The first pointer is this. The second pointer is j. So considering every subarray takes big O of n square because we have n square time complexity. We have n square arrays, right? So we have to improve upon this, uh, this solution, right? This will not work for the constraints of the problem where n goes up to 10 raised to the power 5. Okay. So to solve this problem, we have a quite popular algorithm that is Kadin's algorithm. This is also considered as Kadin's algorithm. So what is Kadin's algorithm? So basically, in this algorithm, what we're going to do is we have to keep a variable, which is the maximum sum so far. So on whatever index I'm standing, let's say I'm standing on this index i, this variable will store the maximum sum, maximum subarray sum, which I have obtained so far till ith index, right? So that is the, that is the purpose of this variable. Then we have another variable, which is maxi variable. This maxi variable stores the current sum, right? Initially, this maxi variable is 0. Okay. Now I start traversing the array from this position. So we have minus 2. So maxi will have minus 2. Now, I can see that the sum goes negative. Initially, the sum was 0. But I was considering an empty subarray. The sum was 0. But after I have included this element, the sum becomes minus 2. Means the sum becomes worse than it was previously. So I again reinitialize maxi with 0. So what I am saying here, including this element into the subarray will not worth it because it will make my sum even worse. That means it is better to start from the next element as a new subarray. So I'm going to start from this element and I'm going to start a new subarray from the next element. So I'm adding this element into this maxi. So this will give me 1. 
So now maxi becomes one after I have included this element. Now the subarray is this. So I will update this max sum so far variable because we can see that up until this point the max sum so variable the max sum so far will now contain one. Why? Because this is the maximum sum till this point. Maxi contains the best sum till this point, which is one. So I will update this max sum so far with one. Now let's move to the next point. Let's move to the next element, which is minus three. So add minus three here. So add minus three here. It is going to give me minus two. Now we can see that this minus two is less than zero. Means including no element in the subarray is far better than including the elements which I have included till now, right? That means I will reject this current subarray and I will start a fresh subarray from the next element. That means reinitialize this maxi with zero. That means reject this subarray. I no longer this subarray is no longer a valid subarray. Why? Because the sum of this subarray is minus two, which is worse than zero. So that means I have to start from a fresh subarray. So start from the next element, which is four. So store four into the maxi. Add four into the maxi. That is going to give me four. That means the maximum sum till this point that I have obtained is four. Okay. So that means this is better than max sum so far, which I already have. That is one. So I will update this one with four. Right now, add next element into this maxi four minus one, which is three. Okay, this is not better than max sum so far. I still have a better sum, which is four. Now add the next element, which is two. So three plus two is going to give me five. That means this subarray has a better subarray sum, which I had earlier. So update this four with five. So the best sum till this point becomes five. Now add next element into the sum. Five plus one is going to give me six. Now six is the sum till now here. This is better than max sum so far. So update this five with six. Again include the next element which is minus five. So six minus five is going to give me one. Is going to give me one. That means this is not better than the sum which I already have earlier and that sum is six. So one is not better than six. So move to the next element, which is four. Add four here. That is going to give me five, which is also not better than the sum which I already have. That is six. So the answer finally, which I obtain in this max sum so far variable is six. The maximum subarray has a sum of elements as six. And that array is this, this one, including four minus one, two and one. Fine. So you got what I am trying to do. We just maintain two variables. This is a popular Cadence algorithm. We maintain two variables. The first variable is maxi. This is going to store the running sum, running sum. Now, whenever the running sum becomes less than zero, I'm going to drop that subarray and start a new subarray from the element right next to the current element, right? And I also maintain a max sum so far variable. This contains the maximum sum till a point I, let's say. Okay. This contains the maximum sum till any point I. And this will also contain the maximum sum till the last point in the array. And that's, that's the variable which will store my answer. Fine. So I hope you got the idea how we're going to solve this problem. And let's see the implementation for this solution. So let's create two variables. Let's create a maxi variable. Initialize it with zero. Let's create a max 
sum so far variable initialize it with very small value let's say int min start from the start iterating over the num array add the current element into the max max c plus is equals to it and if the current max c is greater than max sum so far then update this max c with max sum so far update this max sum so far with the max c then after that after this statement what we're going to do is will be simply checking if the max c is less than 0 that means i can have i can start with the better sum i can start with the better sum so i will start from the next element so max c again re i reinitialize the max c again to 0 finally at the end of this array i will have my answer stored in this max sum so far variable which i will return at the right at the end of the function so that's all let's try to run this code if it works if it doesn't work let's yes it's worked it worked so let's try to submit it <laughs> so this worked really well and it got accepted so that's all about this video i hope you enjoyed it this was this is also called a dense algorithm and this is really an easy algorithm to learn and uh, this this problem is important uh, and it is included in the blind 75 list so, so that's why it is there so stay tuned with me that's all for this video stay tuned with me i will soon see you with the the next video i will soon see you with the next video